Flame Possess Sacred Art. Extra Flame! Hey, Flame here, and welcome back to another Death Battle reaction video. We are reacting to one of the most, not notorious, but one of the most, you know, one of the debatable ones in, you know, in the Dragon Ball fandom. A lot of a lot of people in the fandom are like Vegeta's better. No, sorry, Vegeta. <laughs> Vegeta's better. No, it's Go Geta. No, it's blah 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 blah. Me and my friends have this conversation a lot. I'm Team Go Geta. I know it's Gogeta. I just pronounce it as Go Geta to piss people off because it's funny. Yeah, I'm Team Gogeta, but I'm pretty sure Vegeta's gonna win. I have a feeling. But anyways, let's get started. Last one. Hey, he got the seven out. Dragon Balls. Yes. Now with this ultimate power, I can finally summon Vegeta fight Vegito. <coughs> what? What? Oh, come on! Mm -hmm. It's the ultimate Dragon Ball question. Which fusion? That is, Goku yeah. And Vegeta is stronger. Gogeta, the combo greater than ah! Goku, or Vegito, the mix the same from hell. Gods. Intriguing. They I love Gogeta so much. Identical, yet still quite different. Though mm -hmm. in canon, they only have a collective total of three brief appearances. To I just love the, the Go uh, Gogeta's outfit fusion. I just love Gogeta's outfit. GT, Super, Movies, Games, Guidebooks, Toys, Twitter, even <laughs> crazy Xenoverse and hero stuff. Yeah. On to your Dragon Ball. There's a lot of These material to go over. Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out... Come on, Gogeta! A death battle. I feel like the only way like this is possible in canon times Imagine, it's like if there's like a, 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 a clone of Goku and Vegeta there to watch and they have to fight them Z, and they fuse Fusion and they have to fuse too. And it's gonna be the most radical movie ever, uh, dude. Spider-Man 2, such a yeah, good movie. Was a little weird when Whoa, Spider-Man 3, then, I apologize. Goku and Vegeta were Fusion? One ha! Into a single being of amazing power. Gogeta. Let's go. And that would be the greatest thing eight-year-old you ever saw. Yes, sir. Yeah, That's facts. Fun fact: While Vegeta had already debuted in the manga two months earlier, uh -huh. Gogeta was created first. After That's all, true. The movie had been in production throughout the previous year. Two Saiyans, the proud son of royalty and Fusion the lower of class Goku, champion, uh -huh. five nine, nice. Uh, the Mataram Fusion Dance, Fusion Vegeta. Reborn. Easily a Number of kind of appearances, one, hey, which is the Broly movie. The first time we saw Super Saiyan, but, but I think this comes close. This method of fusion was taught to Goku by the Metamorans, a mysterious mm -hmm. alien people who we never actually see. But That's I true. They like wearing crop tops with inflatable shoulder pads. Yes, they sir. I love their outfits. Their technique to go ten and drunk. Ha! It was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. This Indeed is, is. A fusion dance. On top of an incredibly precise movement routine, this technique requires both parties to match power levels in yes. order to fuse successfully. See, and this is the reason why Ve I think Vegeta is going to win because they have to match power levels in order to fuse. While with Vegeta, you need just the earrings, so it doesn't matter your power level. Literal personification of the phrase, only as strong as the weakest link. It's pretty uh -huh. easy to screw up, trust me. But if you nail it, you're the baddest Man, they made go tanks a running planet. gag. Though not part of mainline canon, a joke. Goku and Vegeta first used this to Going battle ghost. Nemba, a demon basically composed of essence of evil. Probably mm -hmm. smells like cats. Gogeta defeated him in less than two minutes. Damn! Later, I've never seen Gogeta the movie. would become canon to conquer one of the most dangerous yes. entities in Broly. the world. Broly. Broly. Obviously, Gogeta's super powerful. No, you gotta say it right. You gotta roll the arm. Broly! How he comes up with awesome attack names. Like mm -hmm. the Big Bang Kamehameha. Yes, sir. Fall, yes, sir. Explosion and the ultimate villain killer, Stardust Breaker. Stardust Dragon. Completely obliterates all traces of evil within a target. That's yes. how it took out Janemba yes. in one shot. The guy was literally so, made of so evil. So cool. Poor cats. Weirdly enough, this is similar to Devil Man's Devil Might Be. Which I forgot about Devil Man. Within a person to explode. And oh, you mean Spike? That guy's hilarious. Which obscure character are you gonna uh -huh. reference next? Icarus? Bro, Sour I need to Man. read General Dragon Ball. Rildo? 
I need to read it. That guy's just one letter up from General Dill. Whoa! Hey, yo, why is it big? Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Blue, and even Super Saiyan Four. I like it that they just they don't call it Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan no more. It's just SSB. I like that. Golden Grade Eight. Ah, bro, don't get me started on the Eight Four. It taps further into Goku and Vegeta's Saiyan bloodline, giving them fuzzy red fur and yes, Goth Eyeshadow. Yes, the only good thing about GT. So you wouldn't know it with Gogeta. SS4. He basically becomes Dragon Ball's Bugs Bunny, reveling and messing around with his foe any way he can. Until the fusion runs out. That's right, the fusion dance the hair has so a time cool. limit of 30 minutes. You have no idea how much I love Super Saiyan 4, because, you know, their hair is red. I have red hair, so I was like, it's me! This can be reduced even more if Gogeta uses up a lot of energy. Against Omega Shenron in GT, he's split apart after about 10 minutes. That's Just true. Just more evidence that the amount of power Gogeta possesses <laughs> is enormous. Even repeatedly striking Broly so hard that the mm -hmm. boundaries between dimensions shattering reality by glass wasn't enough to burn through his time. Bro, the animation is godlike. One when he did that. After going blue, Broly didn't stand a chance. Based that is true. In the film, Whis's reaction even implies that Gogeta could possibly take on Beerus. In Dragon yeah. Ball Heroes, Gogeta continues to prove he's one of the multiverse's S tier fighters. He Indeed. even defeated the Crimson Mask Super Saiyan Rose, full power Goku Black, and Ultimate hey, God Rose. Hearts the God Hater. You, you the God Hater. And two Gogetas to I forgot about the hero stuff. Take on food. Just, just, just foo. After, yeah. After all that, F you just go foo. Dark King Fu, the artificial bio android demon mutant. He has Let's go. Namekian Earthling Majin and Eternal Dragon DNA. See, now, see, now that design is kind of clean. Is this fan fiction? Hearts the God Whiner. You could say. Fu could become an entity akin to Zeno, that little blue baby who can erase a multiverse with a thought. Wait, they're playing the music in the back. But these achieved even stronger forms than before. One was in Super Saiyan Blue Evolved, the boosted form Vegeta achieved during the Tournament of Power. The other was Super Saiyan 4, but not ah! just any Super Saiyan 4. He was Super Full Power <laughs> Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker. Uh, Limit Break? I think my tongue is permanently twisted now. These two forms fighting side by side implies that, at least in this iteration, both are similar, if not equal, in power. Oh, mm -hmm. Gogeta is so cool. And there are tons Indeed. of people who think he'd win this matchup. In Weekly Jump issue 1995, the few but I know Vegeta's going to win. Unify Goku and Vegeta's spirits and draw out their power to the max. As long as a fight with Vegito lasts less than 30 minutes, the magazine says Gogeta should win. And then in the video mm -hmm. game Raging Blast, there's a what-if scenario where Gogeta beats Vegito in a sparring session. But he was about to run out of energy, so maybe it could have gone either way. Though with his power and skill, it's unlikely any opponent would push <sighs> Gogeta to his limits. Two of the greatest warriors in history merge together as one. What more could you <laughs> want as a fan? What more could you fear as a foe? Oh my god, he's so cool! I'm sorry. It's I'm sorry, I just... I'm, I'm a, I'm a Gogeta fanboy. A demonic menace has threatened to consume the world in chaos. Boo. Goku and Vegeta were pushed to the brink with only one option left. Fusion. Fusion. They used one of their most incredible techniques ah, to become eyes. a merged being of unimaginable power. You are neither Goku but nor Vegeta. We are Vegeta. An awkward dance routine he'd ultimately despise. Instead, they used the Patara. Only yes, the go. gods themselves could rock bling like this. Uh -huh. right, the Patara earrings come from the Kai, <laughs> the gods that supervise the universes. By placing one yeah, but on they the are Mark, my ear, the Patara blue. forcibly fuses the two beings together. No mm -hmm. power level matching required. In oh, they're both the same height. Interesting. The party get Goku's height. Seriously, Vegito. In the Dragon Ball, no. a better name. Yeah, it's not that bad. And remember, Fusion Reborn started production well before Toriyama penned Vegito's first appearance. That's so, true. Uh, do I call dibs on the better name, huh? But mm -hmm. still, shouldn't it be like Vegiku? Not like that's much better either. Why Vegito? It makes more sense in Japanese. Vegito it does. is formed from the first half of Vegeta and the latter half of Kakaroto. This is why Viz Media actually translated it to Vegerot. Oh, that one sucks too. Ew, Vegerot. how he blows shit up real good. Vegito has numerous techniques that are entirely his own, many of which are, fittingly, perfect combinations of Goku and Vegeta's signature moves, such as the final Kamehameha. Uh huh. Like Vegeta's final flash, but fired like Goku's Kamehameha way. Yeah. He's got a I will say this sword, to me. The Saiyan shield and the Banshee Blast. Oh! No, it's not the ghost attack you're thinking of. With Goku and Vegeta's powers combined, Majin Buu was no match. 
Super Vegeta Bro, he was so murked, fucking powerful boo. that even being turned into candy didn't slow him down. It Indeed. just made him delicious. His level of power had transcended to such an impressive cautious. degree that he was capable <clears throat> of effectively ignoring having his matter entirely altered and his DNA eradicated. He continued on. That's insane. As incredible fighting candy. No mouth, no brains, no organs of any kind, and he still kept slapping around that big pink ass. Uh, phrasing. Yeah. Presumably, Pause. this is similar to how Vegeta overpowered Bobbidi's mind control, or mm -hmm. how Goku broke through Hit's time skip with Kaioken. Oh, look at that animation, though. level can overrule uh. basically anything a weaker one does. Though, to be fair, the Super Candy... Bro, they dropped the ball on Hit. Hit was dope. But Vegito's a pretty extreme guy, even for the Dragon Ball multiverse. He later got that godly blue hairspray and beat the uh -huh. crap out of merged Zamasu. Yes, sir! Candy. Like a fusion dick measuring contest. Spare sword clash. Oh, close. Though similar or to his sword. dancing counterpart, Vegito's time ran out after he overtaxed himself. Mm -hmm. It was kind of weird. Back in the day, they said these yeah. Batara fusions Plot. were permanent. Turns out it's only permanent for Supreme Kai's. Vegito's form ah. can last up to one hour before okay. splitting. I did not know that. But can be shortened severely if he goes full tilt. In the manga, Vegito formed after Zamasu fused and split apart when they expected fused With Zamasu two T's, that's weird. Left, meaning he cut his time down to 40 minutes at most. Though in the anime, it was way less since he tried to quickly overpower Zamasu with mm -hmm. a single attack. The Patara yeah. have their own set of rules. Unlike the fusion ah! dance, this form is maintained Kefla? by the power of the earring, Bruh. not the fusers themselves. As such, just Kefla was the fine. ends the fusion. And if you slap the Patara on while in a Super Saiyan form, you can't power down while fused so if goku and vegeta aren't careful they can find themselves draining power when they don't need to but surprise vegeta's got into his own super dragon ball hero shenanigans and yeah. he's got the full power Ooh. red fur too look whiz i think i'm having deja vu aside from Fu, nice heavy nice fun the multiverse like cumber and Mickey oh Cumber. i forgot and about cumber like gogeta there's plenty of people who think vegeta so far, would win this fight Dizentures four and seven basically two dragon ball encyclopedias Claim that the Patara fusion is superior to the fusion dance. Old yep, Kai that's what I heard. Too, that the Patara provide a greater effect. Though they both may be referring to what was believed at the time to be a permanent fusion. Mm -hmm. Not having to worry about overspending your time limit would certainly be a greater effect. That is true. true. But hey, there's nothing that uh, can get If there's no the time Vegito's limit, that makes awesome sense power. for it to be the Gods better fusion. And demons alike are no match. When there's no one strong enough to save the day, then perhaps. But there is a time limit do. because they're not Kai's. Oh, that was clean. Let's go. Right, the are set. I'm ready. I want Gogeta to win. Personally, but I have a feeling Vegito might. So I'm still torn. You know, I want my boy. Is it going to be 3D? 3D? Oh. oh. Whoa, Vegeta. Am I really that much taller than you? Stop it, Kakarot. Why does that sound like Deku? <laughs> Jean! Ah! Big meaty man slapping me. There we go. Uh. Ah. Come on. Okay, head buzz, same clash. On me slash. I know it's not the only slash. Calm down. Go! <sighs> it's soaring to the skies. Not bad. Wanna kick it up a notch? Sure. Let's go! How about some variety? Variety? You gonna go for it? Yes! Bro, I can't wait for them to make for a cannon. There we go. Ah! Ooh, shattering dimensions. No, I'm kidding. Oh, hey. Hey, leave the tail low, not the damn day. Um, that scatter shot though, fire. Ooh, 
Dragon Fist? No. Uh, or, is, or is Gogeta the one with Dragon Fist? Oh, Saiyan Fist. Whatever it's called. Point blank. <laughs> gotcha. Come on. Oh, they're, they're inside the hyperbolic time chamber. I guess it's now or never. I wonder if this is gonna end in a draw. Woo! Oh, is that Stardust? The Stardust move? Stardust Dragon! But only but doesn't it only work on evil stuff? Dragon, there we go. Who got decimated? They go Gita punched right through him. <laughs> ah no! I knew it! I knew that was going to happen! I knew it! I knew it! Not my boy! KO! KO! Oh man, that was epic! Totally worth the wish! Oh, I guess we probably could have solved a lot of world problems with that. I suppose world domination <laughs> can wait another year. This fight yeah. was incredibly close. No, seriously, how could it not be? They're almost yeah. exactly the same person. Yeah. With a few minor differences here and there, like signature yeah, attacks. Yeah, short of duration, Neither that's Vegito the part. nor Gogeta had one single power that provided an absolute edge over the other. Except perhaps mm -hmm. Vegito's longer time limit, though it's not so clear cut. Yeah. Both have overtaxed their energy quick enough to end their fusions in less than 10 minutes. Time isn't the only factor, but also whatever is maintaining each fusion. Gogeta's body and Vegito's earrings. It's mm. possible Vegito's power can actually drain the Patara faster than Gogeta's does his own body. Still, it's okay, the interesting. Time, that definitely gave Vegito more flexibility and strategy. So more often than not, it's safe to say. I Gogeta love that we got a 3D and a 3D fight, and not a 2D fight. From power overuse, it's typically difficult for them to immediately fuse again due to that lack of energy. But Vegito had another one over oh, Gogeta. crazy red eyeliner. No what, crazy. Always have a very slight power advantage. Remember how the fusion dance requires the fusers to match their power levels? Well, yeah. the Patara don't need that. Yeah. Goku doesn't need to match Vegeta's slightly lower power levels, so there's nothing stopping mm -hmm. Vegeta from combining the full sum of their parts. Oh, that is poor true. Vegeta. You'll get your day in the sun one day, buddy. Oh, who am I kidding? Yeah, I had this seen that might be gone. what Old Kai was referring to when he said the Patara had a greater effect. Mm -hmm. But hey, could Gogeta have destroyed the earrings? Nope, Possibly. he would have nah. had to be able to overpower Vegito first, like how Goku could only destroy Kefla's earrings after he reached Ultra Instinct. Remember, when That's comparing true. levels of power in Dragon Ball, the greater one can overrule almost anything the weaker one does. The earrings yeah. likely tend to be protected by the user's key aura, similar to their clothing. The only time we've that ever is, seen huh? Patara damaged or specifically targeted are when the wearer is overwhelmed or in a vulnerable state. If any stray key blast could destroy them, we'd have a lot more broken earrings by now. Yeah. Lastly, there's some Same debate wrong. over their personalities. In their first appearances, Vegito seemed rather cocky and playful against Yeah, Vegeta, whereas yeah, Vegeta this is what Vegito's a menace. deliberate against Janemba, and thus far more successful. However, these are not core personality traits, and that assuming so would be inconsistent with Vegito's serious fight with Zamasu and Gogeta's more brash fights with Broly and Omega Shenron. Uh -huh. Context is key. As far as personality and mental ability goes, Gogeta and Vegito are practically identical. Yeah. In the end, Vegito's higher power level, no matter how slight it was, made a big difference in protecting and maintaining his longer, more flexible time. That is true. Gogeta that's the, that's the problem with Z. Whoever had the power, the highest Vegito. power level, Sorry, automatically will win. That pun was Wait, shut up. Earth's Dragon Balls give two wishes, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, Shinron, I wish for you to fuse me and win. <laughs> oh, oh. The winner is Oh, Vegeta. we're not going to see it. Ah, uh, that sucks. That sucks. Thanks for watching, and doubly thanks to our channel members for supporting us this year. Hope you've been is enjoying the, the extra is, perks. Oh, yeah, this is the last of the year. Of stuff in the works for you. If you aren't a champion, click that join button and give it a shot. Also, Are they going to reveal anything? Death Battle is coming soon, including two matchups chosen by uh, our champions. Let's see what you picked. Oh, Bill? Bill, 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 Bill. I don't know the last one. Infamous! Cool. That's what it was. I'm excited. I want Bill to win, and I want uh, Cole to win. Those are my picks for those. But anyways... Uh, yeah. 
I was right. You could say I could got it right. I was rooting for Vegeta, uh, Gogeta, but I knew Vegeta was going to win. I don't know if you could call that like a complete win on my part. Maybe I don't know. Obviously, the the link to the original video down in the description below. Go watch it yourself. Go like it yourself. Support Death Battle, please. And also tell them I am down to voice act for them. <laughs> but anyways, also support me by liking and subscribing. See you all in the next reaction. Bye-bye.